in this video, I'm going to show you how to make my Cross the Ridges Crochet Ear Warmer. Now, this pattern will be available on my website and also on Ravelry. The pattern is free on my website, of course, because I'm showing you how to make it here. But it's not printer friendly. Now, when you purchase a pattern from me on Ravelry, you can download it and then print it out. It is a PDF and those extra little dollars helps to support the channel and helps me to buy more supplies so I can bring you more videos. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy it. Alrighty, y'all, let us get started. So the yarn that I'm using today is the Color Made Easy yarn from Lion Brand Yarns. I am an affiliate for Lion Brand, so if you decide to order from the Lion Brand website, please check out the description box. And I'll also pin a comment where I will have my Lion Brand Yarn affiliate link. When you buy it through an affiliate link, it is no extra cost to you, but I get a small commission off of your sale, and that helps to support the channel so that I can buy more supplies and bring you more videos. So, this is a bulky yarn. It is a size 5, and it is recommended to use a size 6.5 millimeter hook. I like to use a 6 millimeter with this size yarn. Weight yarn, whatever you want to <laughs> call it. The color is mineral yellow. So first off, what you're going to do is get your yarn onto your hook, and we're going to be using a slip knot. Just wrap it around your fingers, tuck it under, and pull it through. I do have playlists for absolute beginners that go very slowly. I do not go that slowly in these videos. All right, so first off, what you're going to do is you're going to chain 65. And to chain, you just wrap it around, pull it through. Wrap it around, pull it through, wrap around, pull it through. I'll zoom in. Wrap it around, pull it through. Okay, so make your chain of 65 and then we'll come back and get started on row number one. Okay, so I have my chain here of 65 stitches. Now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet all the way across to the end. And to do that, you're going to don't go into this stitch, go into that one. It's going to be your second chain from your hook. One, two. Go in there, grab your yarn and pull it through. You have two loops on your hook. Loop around and pull it through those two. Go into the next one. Loop around, pull it through, and loop around, pull through two. That is a single crochet. So what we're going to be doing is you're going to single crochet all the way across. Now for this very first row, and your chain as well, you know, try not to make your chain really tight because it needs to be able to stretch just a little bit. These stitches here, try not to make them overly tight as well, okay? Like I said, it needs to be able to stretch. Now, with this headband, I'm trying to go slowly here so you can see. With this headband, it's going to feel a little snug when you put it on initially. But, you know, after just a few uses, it's going to stretch out a little bit and it will be, you know, more of an appropriate size. You don't want it to be loose or like just barely holding on to your head when you first make it because then it will stretch out later on and then it's going to be too big. You see that just going in and making single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to work on this all the way over to the end and then we'll come back and we'll start on row number two. Okay, so I am at the end of row number one of all of my single crochets. And now what we're going to do is start on row number two. We're going to chain two, one, two, and now let's flip her over. All right, so what we're going to be doing for row number two is we're going to be working all the way back across, doing half double crochets in the front loop only. That's not difficult. So let me take my hook out here. So if you will look at your work, here's your work, turn it up so that you're looking at the stitches going from the top to the bottom. If you see the top of your stitches here, you'll see there's this loop here and this loop here, okay? This right here, this is the back loop. This is the front loop. It doesn't matter which way your work is facing. Whichever loop is facing you, that's going to be the front loop, okay? Front, 
and back. Now, why are we gonna be working into the front loops only? Because that is going to create texture without having to do a complicated stitch, okay? Let's get this right here. Okay, now, here is our first stitch right here. This is your chain, this is your first stitch. You're gonna loop around and just go into that front loop like that. Then yarn over, pull it up, yarn over and pull through all three stitches on your hook, okay? Yarn over, just go under that front loop. See that back loop is still back there. Pull it through and then go through all three. Yarn over into the front loop, pull it through and pull through all three, all right? That is your half double crochet. Okay, now do that all the way across. And then when we get to the end, we will start on row three. All righty, we are moving right along. So now that we're at the end of this row, what we're gonna do is we're going to chain two and flip it over. Now you see that little ridge it made right there? All right, that's what we're aiming for. Now, what we're gonna do is we're going to half double crochet all the way across, but this time working in the back loop only, okay? Now by working in the back loop again, we're gonna be creating another little ridge, okay? So once again, look at the top of your stitch. This is your front loop. This one right here is your back loop. So you're going to yarn over, whoopsie doodle, and just work into that back loop there. Pull up your yarn and then pull it through all three. Okay, loop it around, go into that back loop, loop it around, pull it up, loop it around, pull it through. Go around in that back loop, and pull through all three. Yeah, this is um, fairly quick and easy to work up, you know, when you're not making it for a video, <laughs> you know, and you can hold it down in your lap well, like I do, you know, then you can work at full speed. Um, these work up really quickly, really good for craft fairs, gifts, things like that. So anyway, just keep on working all the way across, back loop only, half double crochet, Okay, moving right along, row number four. So we made it all the way back over here again. And what we're gonna do, we're going to chain one and turn. Now what we're gonna do on this row is we're gonna be working single crochets all the way across in the front loop only. Remember the front loop is the one closest to you. It's gonna be this one. See, there's the back, there's the front. Front loop only. Working single crochets all the way across. Just take your time with this because this yarn, sometimes I notice it splits a little bit when you're trying to do you know, like the front loop, back loop thing. So just take your time. We're not on an assembly line. There's no hurry. Just gonna take your good time and just work all the way across. Now I know someone's probably gonna ask, well, you know, can I use a different weight of yarn to make this? Of course you can. You can <laughs> you can use baling twine if you want to. You just need to adjust your hook size, you know, to whatever kind of yarn that you're using. If you're using like a, a weight number four, like a worsted weight, you know, I would I would suggest a size five millimeter hook. You know, if you're doing like a super bulky, you know, use a bigger hook. You may have to adjust the number of your starting chain you know, to get a proper size to fit around someone's head. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you can use whatever size yarn you want as long as you're using the appropriate hook. But anyway, I'm going to work my way all the way over to the end, doing these single crochets, and we'll come back and we'll do a fun stitch. Well, I think it's a fun stitch. I like it. <laughs> Hold on. All 
Alrighty, row number five. This is a stitch that I really like and I use it a lot. This is a crisscross stitch. And to make it, we're gonna be using double crochets. So what we're going to do is we're gonna chain two, one, two, and let's flip it over. All right, so here is your chain and here is your first stitch here. We're gonna skip that stitch and we're gonna double crochet into the next one, okay? Skip that, double crochet into that. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to go back and make a double crochet into that stitch that we skipped. We're gonna work in front of this one, okay? So what we're gonna do, yarn over, just go into that skip stitch. Ooh, it's lightning outside. Pull it up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that makes a little crisscross. So you have a stitch here, a stitch here. Now you're gonna skip this one and go into this one. Double crochet into that one, pull up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now go back and work into that skipped one, yarn over, go into that, pull it up, pull through two, pull through two. See how you get that cute little cross crisscross. Yeah, we've been having storms, oh my gosh, every day for like the past week. <laughs> Skip that one, go into that one for a double crochet. Go back and work into the skipped one. There you go, just like this. So now you're gonna move your needle. You're gonna do this all the way across. Do double crochet, then go back into that skipped one. You can go behind the stitch too, but for beginners, it's, it's just easier to go in front of the stitch. Okay, so I'm going to do this all the way across till I get to the end. And then we will start going back to our half doubles and then finish off with a row of single crochet. So I'll be right back. All right, so I am all the way to the end with my little crisscross stitches, and now we're gonna go back the other way doing single crochets. So chain one and let's flip it over. Now remember, we're gonna start working in the loop, not the whole stitch here. For our crisscrosses, we did work through the whole stitch, you know, just like a normal stitch. So when you're watching videos and if they don't specify front loop or back loop, or if you're reading a pattern and it does not specify front loop or back loop, then go ahead and work through both of the loops just like a normal crochet stitch. Okay, so now what we're doing, like I said, we're gonna work back the other way with single crochets, but we're gonna be working in the front loops. That's the one closest to you. This one, not that one. Okay, so in that first stitch, just go into that front loop and make your single crochet. You're going to do that all the way across. Like so. Just all the way across. And then when we get to the end of this row, then we'll go back into our half doubles. All right. Oh, my, my yarn tried to split. Don't do that. That's rude. <laughs> Alrighty. So, all the way back across. Then we'll move on. Alrighty, so moving along to five, six, row seven. I believe this is row seven. I lost count. <laughs> I can count to seven, I promise. But row, moving on to row number seven. Now we're going to go back to our half doubles. So what we're going to do is chain two, flip it over, and we're going to be working in the back loops this time. So yarn over in this first stitch, work into that back loop there. Pull up your yarn and then pull it through all three. Yarn over, 
into that next stitch, go in just the back loop and pull through. Back loop and pull through. I think the storm has kind of started to pass. I don't know. I had to pause the video for quite a while and wait because my power flashed on and off again. I had to wait for that to go away. I'm like, you know what? I just want to make a video. That's all I want to do. The thunder and lightning was not letting me. All right. So all the way across, you're just going to do these half doubles in the back loop. Okay. All the way across. And then we'll start on the next row. Hey, we're almost done. Look at that. Okay, Doki, moving along. We're going to chain two and then turn it around. And we're going to go back all the way across using half double crochets in the front loop only. Front loop. This one close to you, not that one, this one. So yarn over, just go under that front loop. Why are you doing this to me? Yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over under that front loop pull through yarn over pull through all three now i noticed um i was in joanne's earlier and i noticed that the color made easy they were putting out a lot more colors now this yellow color i really like because i think it's a really nice fall color but i did see a really nice blue and i'm hoping for a nice purple so yep lots of pretty colors coming out i just love the fall fall yarns so hoping to do a lot more fall projects i'm getting a lot of requests for fall crochet projects all right so i've done enough stitches there to show you what we're doing so i'm going to pause the video again and then when we come back we'll put on the last row Alright, my crafty crocheting friends, we are just about finished. We are getting ready to do the last row. So to do that, we are going to chain one and turn it around again. Look at all those beautiful little ridges. Ugh, I love how it turns out. So you have chained one and now what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet all the way across in the back loops only. Back loops only. So not this front one, this back one here. So into, just grab that back loop and pull up your yarn and pull it through. Into that back loop. Back loop again. Okay. We'll do it again. Now I'll just do a few so you can see what I'm doing. Now you're going to do this all the way across, okay? Now, when you get to the end of this row, you are just going to finish off your yarn, and I'll show you how to do that. Just finish off, and don't cut the tail of your yarn short. You need to cut it pretty long because we are going to use that to do a little bit of sewing, okay? So let's get to the end and cut your yarn off. And then we'll sew it together. Okay, so we are at the end of this row here. We are done, and now we're getting ready to sew it together. Now, let's take a look at this yarn. This is how much I have left after making this. Now, this is my second one. See, this was my first one when I was just playing with the pattern, trying to get it the way I wanted it. So this is number one, and this is number two. You could probably get four out of this. Um, let's squish it down. Yeah, you may be able to get four out of there. At least three. But, all right, so we're at the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to chain one. I've already cut my yarn. See, nice big long tail. Then you're just going to pull it through. You're just going to pull it through the stitch that you just made. Now, I need to be careful because I've already got my needle on here. <laughs> so let's try to pull that through with my needle on. There we go. Now, just snug that down. All right. Let's get all this mess out of the way so we have our needle here. Now, what you want to do is we're going to flip this over. 
so that the wrong side is facing us, okay? This is the wrong side. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this end here and fold it in half, okay? Bring this up. Don't worry about this end. We'll sew it in later. Bring up this end and fold it in half. My, my, my. <laughs> now you're just going to fit them together like that. Try to make sure that the edges are kind of sort of even because what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be stitching through all four of these layers. So I have my needle here. Let's try to zoom in once again. Now this can be a little bit difficult to see because of all the folds and it's all the same color. But all I'm doing is I'm just stitching through all four of these layers. Don't worry if your stitches are perfect or what they look like because you know what? You're not going to see them. All this is going to be hidden. You can just see I'm just going through the edge of all four layers. Well, I said I was. There we go. Pull that kind of snug. So you're just going to go through this. Now you might have to dig down in there. Yep, there's that other little edge down there it wants to hide. Just making sure that you're grabbing all four of them. Okay. All right, I'll head it over this way. Yep, there's three, and there's four. All right, now I'm going to go back the other way one more time just to make sure that all of my stitches have taken hold. Why are you flopping around? <laughs> all right. But yeah, this pattern here, I'm going to have it typed up and it's going to be available on my blog. I'll have the link in the description box. I'll also pin a comment with that link. It'll also be for sale on Ravelry. And when I put patterns on, there's a net. When I put things on Ravelry, it's because I have put them into PDF form. It's going to be easy for you to print out and punch holes in and keep in a pattern notebook, you know, what have you. It also helps to support the channel and helps me to buy more supplies and make more videos. So now that I'm done, I just run my needle through there and you see how I've made this loop. Now I'm just taking my needle and going through that loop and I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to do that one more time. Just, just catch a stitch anywhere. It don't matter. Catch a stitch, any stitch. Now I'll pull it through until we have a loop. This loop here. I'm just taking my needle, going through that loop and pulling, and then that's going to make a knot. All right, so I'm just going to hide my tail here. Not my tail, tail of my yarn. <laughs> Where do I want it to go? You know what? It doesn't really matter. You can just run it through. That looks good right there. Whichever row of stitches is nearest your needle, just run it under there. I'm going to go through some stitches, not completely under the stitches. If you go through the stitches, that helps the yarn to catch and it keeps your end snug. All right. Now I'm going to go back in the other direction. Let's pull on that a little bit because you're going to be stretching it to go on your head. So I'm going to pull on that. Now I'm going to go back in the other direction, just kind of going through some of the stitches instead of directly under them. There we go. And by doing it that way, I, I've never had my ends to pop out. I'll trim that. Okay. Like I said, we're going to work this tail away later. So now all of that has been stitched together. We'll zoom out. Now flip it right side out. Let's put that in. Like I said, I'm going to work that in here in a minute. And just get it all placed. And there you go. That makes that beautiful little knot there. Little, little crisscross, little knot. <laughs> anyway, how cute is that? It's nice and wide. Um, this type of yarn is very squishy. It's very warm. And these make excellent, excellent ear warmers. So there you go. All finished. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. I'll have the links to them all in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.